How much money would we lose if I lit up this whole doctor's office? You would you would regret do that it, decision. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, no ball. <sighs> Use the explosive shotgun. Don't worry, dude. I won't lean into Stoic too hard. Two seconds later. <laughs> I'm actually suffering from liver failure from my crippling alcohol addiction. <laughs> Cheers, bro. I'll drink to that. Cheers, bro. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, I tore down this wall! Stoic is by far the dumbest perk deck in Payday 2, and that's really saying something, because Payday 2 alone is already dumb as shit. Don't sack dumb. <laughs> don't, don't, don't sack. But it's the good kind of dumb, like the this is stupid, but I kind of like it at the same time type. Dumb. What the hell? You're up against the wall and I, I really, am the really fucking wall. On Radio Gaga. Not Radio again. Gaga. I refuse. You can't keep getting He's away with this. He <laughs> just jumped <laughs> through the wall. He disappeared. <laughs> Stoicism is the ability to endure pain or hardship without displaying feelings or complaint. But again, since this is Payday 2, it's the ability to endure pain or hardship without displaying feelings or complaint with liquor. Find that zen place in your mind. Sweet liquor eases the pain. <laughs> because with Duke's whiskey-filled hip flask, it doesn't matter how many times you get shot, one swig of Jack Daniels and the pain goes away. Just a flesh wound. I am the liquor, Ricky. I realize this makes no sense, not only because your character never suffers the ill effects of alcohol, like dizziness, blurred vision, or loss of motor function after pounding that much whiskey, but Payday 2 logic is second only to Skyrim logic. What third world country made this drill? It's a vault. What do we need? A drill. It's a bigger vault. What do we need? Two drills. You can't just like stack smaller drills to make the damage of a bigger drill. This hey, makes hey, no sense. This is like shooting yourself with low caliber bullets to build up your resistance to higher calibers. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. This is some Skyrim you are over encumbered. You're going to eat 40 pounds of raw glass. <laughs> oh, damn, bro. I picked up this basket. Now I weigh 6,000 pounds. Let me eat this basket now to fix the problem. Bro, actually, you're in the middle of a fight as a Nordic axe is swinging down towards your face. You hit the pause menu. 80 wheels of cheese. <laughs> just going straight down your throat, bro. And if you don't like the hip flask logic, then just buy my gamer stuff shaker instead. It may not have any fucking whiskey in it, but it could because it's now available to bully and threaten you into consuming gamer subs 24-7 like I did throughout recording this video. I know, I know, this is a sponsorship, but this sponsor is actually tight as fuck, so hear me out. They even sponsor Jello, and he can attest to how incredible this shit is. I wanna fucking kill myself. Trust me, I've drank it all. Red Bull was good until it didn't have enough caffeine. White Monster Boomer Juice was perfect until it gave me splitting headaches. Coffee was fantastic until I started shitting my pants. And G Fuel, well, G Fuel has always been trash. It made me feel like I overdosed on vitamin gummies. I went dummy off of Flintstone gummies. I'm sure you did. Head <laughs> pop one of these and then forget about her. Seriously, here's a scoop of G Fuel filled with ingredients that spike your blood sugar, leading to an inevitable crash. Why the hell is it so damn big? And here's a scoop of Gamer Subs. Less than a quarter of the size. Some flavors are less than a fifth of the size. And it's non glycemic, so it doesn't touch your blood sugar, making it keto and diabetic friendly. No bullshit. Just 100 milligrams of caffeine per scoop with essential vitamins to keep me focused. Most of the time I go two scoops of watermelon ice because I'm 200 pounds and my body resists caffeine like it resists communism. But it's not a shot of adrenaline that makes me want to fight a bear. It's just a light tailwind in my day without feeling jittery or like death is rapidly approaching from a heart attack. If it's good enough for drone operators overseas, just the surveillance kind, not the predator missile kind, it's good enough for you. Shout out to my boy Brian yeeting drones into the sky. Friendly predator missile inbound. Try it yourself with a free sample pack. You will have to pay maybe five or ten bucks for shipping so you don't bankrupt them, but I'm willing to bet you'll love it, and buying anything in the shop with code BADGER gets you 10% off. And if you want my shaker, you better hurry, because there's a limited supply, and I imagine they'll sell out fast. So if you want one, get one, and use code BADGER. This is a threat. Gamer subs. That orphanage was just the beginning. <laughs> Gamer subs. The thirst demolisher. With the gamer juice out of the way, let's get back to the liquor. Now that this little disturbance is settled, let's get back to work. Technically, Stoic works by reducing the damage you take by 75%, and this 75 is slowly applied over a 12 second time frame, during which, if you take a sip of whiskey, all that pending damage immediately goes away, like it never happened. I feel better already. Your life depends on whether or not you take a swig of whiskey or not. That is pretty fun. There is a 10 second cooldown on it, so holding off your slurp until you've taken a beating is critical, but every enemy you kill reduces the cooldown by one second, meaning murdering yourself back to health is an option. Don't don't plan your funeral yet! Uh, stoic! Stoic! Give me my flask, you asshole! Oh, that's, that's
That's a <laughs> Note that all of your armor is converted into health, so you technically got no Kevlar on, but you are a giant ball of flesh, like those delicious meat sleds they serve at the best Mexican restaurants. A 30-inch sled for a family sled. combines both nachos sled. with You five had me so at sled. sled. Santa Claus comes straight out of Guadalajara <laughs> with <laughs> your fucking meal. <laughs> Pulling up out of fucking... Y'all ever been to Juarez? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say Juarez. <laughs> and to make slaughtering scores of law enforcement through sheer force of liquor even dumber, there's only one weapon that'll do the job. Or rather, two weapons that'll do the job. Akimbo Brothers Grimm 12-gauge shotguns. I don't know how Duke manages to take a swig of whiskey every 10 seconds when he's holding a shotgun in each hand, but with this much damage, I don't really care. Kneel before the Duke! I am still broke. trying to get the hang of this drinking while dual-wielding Akimbo shotguns. Ow. Oh, thanks, Taser. That's, that's the only description I have for that pasta, let's be real. You literally shot a drunken man dual wielding a Kimbo Grimms. <laughs> Fuck around and find out. You brought You'll be like, yourself. why didn't you just tase the armed assailants? Believe me, I did. We tried that. It did not Your work. Wife. You can go dummy on the ammo count. With the stando mags and close by aced, it basically makes you into a walking, wasted anti aircraft gun with 54 shells ready to lag your frame rate into the single digits. Who would like a bag of bullets? I'm gonna kill kill your frames. I'm just gonna murder every single one of your frames. Your computer's gonna explode. Ow, ow, that hurts, ow. Oh my god, the I'm basically a walking anti-aircraft gun. My frames, my frames with these grims, oh my god, oh my Fuck god, frames. please Fuck give me a medic bag! Even if they notice us, it's okay, I have- <laughs> <laughs> That dude literally disappeared. Tunguska. Human Tunguska. Imagine, for me, you keep shooting your gun and it's actually lagging my game. My frame rate has <laughs> never been lower in this game. Like, never. It's so bad, isn't it? <laughs> Major upside here is that you're sticking it to the liberals. You shouldn't be allowed to buy a fully automatic 12-gauge shotgun with a high-capacity extended magazine. I agree. That's why I bought two fully automatic 12-gauge shotguns. I'll flip my right turn signal while turning left. Take that fucking liberal. <laughs> Major downside here is that no matter how many ammo bags you bring, it's never enough. You output so many fucking rounds so quickly, you at least have to run Scavenger Ace for ammo pickup, otherwise every 30 seconds you'll be saying FIVE BULLETS LEFT! But you can make things easier on yourself with the right skills, and now that you know that you're an alcoholic 2K22 Tunguska anti-aircraft gun, it's time to start screaming with high value targets. Because any enemy you yell at automatically takes 15% more damage, 50% percent more if further than 10 meters and bonus points if you bring along dragon's breath rounds so the enemies can start screaming too let's go let me yell at him let me yell at him there we go take that asshole i'm doing extra damage to you because i yelled at you bulldozer now die okay the only thing that's annoying about dragon's breath is sometimes they don't burn they're just kind of crispy and they're not dead yet and you gotta shoot them again Sorry, I, did, I didn't mean to browse. <laughs> convert him, convert him, convert him. Oh. He could have been a soldier for our side. He just would have been a little extra crispy. He's still good. He still he's works. A, he's, he's a little done around the edge. <laughs> and any alcoholic anti-aircraft gun screaming at strangers obviously needs an audience, which is where the controller tree comes in. With a combination of hostage taker, partners in crime, joker, and confident, you can convert two enemy SWAT members onto your team that not only give you 30% more health, not only regenerate 4.5% of your your health every five seconds, but are tanky as shit and willing to shoot the cops they just betrayed. <laughs> I don't know how your character convinces a top tier SWAT member to put his gun down, handcuff himself, then start shooting back at fellow SWAT members, but I'm not complaining. Ew, perfect, number two. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and turn around and shoot every one of your buddies in the face, please. Safety's off! And he's on the scene. There he goes. There he this guy's actually body blocking while I'm ripping off an ATM. This is amazing. I love these guys. No. They need to, like, work on their, like, onboarding process because the fact <laughs> that you can take a cop hostage for two seconds, <laughs> two seconds and be like, no, hey, man, you should, like, like kill your friends. Like, well, <laughs> like, hey, well, you got me. You can't argue he with said, that. He said, what? 
Sign me the fuck up. You son of a bitch, I'm in. I'll buy you two bean burritos <laughs> if you if you kill them. <laughs> oh shit, oh. You gonna what? make me act up. Over 9000 saw is a must-have secondary because if there's anybody that I want holding the device that can shred both people and locks in a matter of seconds, it's the guy that's completely shit-faced off a of cheap whisk. Is that a fucking saw? Yo, hit the oh. fucking kegger. Yo, I'm just cutting Four? through all these dude. Oh my god. Cut through this door, cut through this door. Badger, cut through this door. Badger, through this door. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, there we go. Oh there we shit, go. what the fuck? Damn, that was quick. What? I've never seen anybody do that in my life. What a god. Taser, he's in the street. Ah! I'm taking ammo. cut him in half. Come here, buddy. <laughs> I'm interested. <laughs> Especially if you're rating the DOJ, because once the invincible Captain Winter shows up, you're gonna want to drunkenly tell him to fuck off with something special. That psycho just killed one of ours with a saw. Gross, you see you. Gross, you know? gross, <laughs> oh my! I got this. I got this. I got this. Out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. I'm falling back. I am unloading into his back so hard. Get the fuck out of here. You came to the wrong department of justice. This is a Nolan! Kill him! I'm gonna cut him in half. Y'all are sawing Captain Winter. What is happening? Grouse is Captain Winter spin botting right now? What was that? Uh, he refuses to die, Banana Enthusiast. He just straight up won't die. He's kind of like Thanos, but worse. He works for the Department of Justice. <laughs> Thanos. What a bureaucrat! No! Kubla Kong, why was that no so guttural? That sounded like <laughs> you were that fighting was for your life. Which heister is the best in bed? I mean, Sydney's probably a front runner. If you can have some Bose noise canceling headphones on. I don't know, Jimmy would probably kill you. You get into bed with Jacket. I don't think that's supposed to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Extra style points if you run the Venom Mask on Stoic, where instead of showing no emotion, you're showing every possible emotion at once, and Glowing Eyes Wojak is an acceptable alternative for the crippling alcoholism you're currently enduring. What Ugh. the fuck did I make? Did I just turn Venom into a rat? Like, what did I do? Is Venom a juggalo now? <laughs> okay, I found it. I found it. Oh, that's drip. This is such drip. No, Anti-Venom? No, Alcoholic anti-Venom? Why are you doing like the eyes <laughs> It's literally the eyes of the more I look at it, the more I hate it. Same goes for using the bottle of whiskey as a melee weapon. If you're not smacking cops with a bottle of Jack Daniels when your shotties run dry, you shouldn't be running stoic. Consider it done! Peak stoic is using all of the above with high explosive frag rounds on your shotties because the damage they output is absolute ass, but their ability to bounce everyone around and obliterate cover makes Malaysia look like a picnic. Why did you resist a police officer? Why are you police officers? I blew up Malaysia. Oh. Oh no, accuracy no longer required. Shield user, fuck you. It's fun. You know, you just get I'm convinced that AG is so bad at damaging. He's still alive, Grouse. <laughs> it is a the fun bar is maxed out. The useful bar is zero. Yeah, Literally, just circles. spin around like, just in circles and fire like, your AG. Like, no, Even your own dead. dudes are gonna yeah. survive. I'm just gonna sprint down the hallway, just firing at my feet. It's C4 correct. I'm more likely to kill a taser by bouncing him into one of your lines of fire like a clay pigeon than actually killing him myself. Why do I do no damage with it? Alright, 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 let's see it. Okay. So okay. you wanna get behind it and just <laughs> Such a fucking disaster. How long can I keep the taser in? Oh my god. I think you've got the hang of stoic now. You're finally understanding that no matter if it's a bookstore, a department store, or jewelry store with enough liquor, confidence, and a firearm, everything is free. I'm glad we pulled this off in such a civilized way. Why are all of you looking straight yeah. up on- <laughs> What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Why are Whoa, both is this of a you- Is this a meme? Nice and quiet. Please tell me this nice is a quiet, bit. Guys. Please don't, tell me this is a bit. Draw any attention. What do you mean? What are you talking about? There's no bit. Oh my god, we were set up! Everything is free. They operate off of a bartering system as long as you have a gun. Wait, everything is free and flying <laughs> Shut normally up, I mean, this Am is I wrong? this is worse. This is worse than that. I'm gonna kill you through the magic of friendship and this gun I found. <laughs> And once you max out the perk deck, you not only get the massive healing benefits of whiskey we already covered, but an extra 50% kickback on your health every time you drink. Believe me when I say that once you get to this point, you'll feel so powerful that physics don't apply to you anymore. Now this is how it's done. Oh wait, why is Badger just sliding everywhere on my screen? What I'm frictionless. <laughs> I don't fuck with that physics shit. Well, I don't like play actually... that shit. And then I'ma just, I'ma just 
stop. <laughs> and then I'm gonna I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna exit. <laughs> Michael Jackson just like just like just like he just turn 360 and walk away. <laughs> and that's it. That's stoic. I'm so done with this video. I'm gonna go get blasted off a cheap gin out of this adult sippy cup that you better fucking buy. I swear to God.